We can only have an honest debate if we get an honest answer from the First Minister. This is a real terms cut to local government budgets. And the First Minister is out of touch with reality. Let's look at what's on the table. Let's look at what's on the table and the options councils are being forced to consider. Aberdeen, outsourcing all social work and children's services. Falkirk, selling off over 100 council buildings, including swimming pools and theatres. Glasgow, slashing care placements for children, which officials warn will compromise children's safety and increase the risk of abuse and neglect. Enough is enough. Get off your backs and speak out against this First Minister. Because across the country, we are facing a future where children's music lessons are cut, libraries are closed, and where bins will only be collected once a month. And the blame for all of this lies with Nicola Sturgeon and her government. Because wherever you look, this government is losing its grip. People used to say the First Minister was competent. Now she is saying, now they're saying she's out of control. And that's just people in her own political party. After 15 years of this SNP government, local government in crisis, teachers on strike, the NHS on its knees. So will she finally admit that this is an SNP budget for cuts, for closures and for strikes? First Minister. Well, no matter how much Anna Sarwar raises his voice um, in shouts, it, it doesn't cover... It doesn't cover up the fact that he has not brought forward a single proposal within a budget that is fully allocated uh, for putting a single extra penny into local government budgets. Uh, that's why he shouts, because there is absolutely yep, zero absolutely. substance in anything he's saying. All, all sound and fury and no substance is a good summary of Anas Sarwar. But let me take... Let me take some of the points. Uh, Anna Sarwar is talking about real terms. Uh, the £570 million uh, increase that I have spoken about, that is actually a real terms increase of £160.6 million, 1.3%. Secondly, in terms of uh, the proposals that councils are looking at, at this time every year, uh, councils look at a range of proposals. I've seen proposals from, I think, Glasgow City Council this morning, and the point is made. Uh, these are options that no decisions have been taken. I remember a few years ago, claims at this time of year that there were going to be 15,000 job cuts across local government. Uh, since then, uh, jobs have actually increased by 19,000. Ah. Ah. So, yes, these are difficult times for local government, but if you want to propose more money for local government within a draft budget that is fully allocated, yeah. then to have any credibility, you also have to say where that resource should come from. Um, and in the absence of Anna Sarwar uh, being clear about that, I can only assume that he wants us to take money from the National Health Service yeah. uh, or from police budgets and give it to local government uh, or social security. Perhaps it's the Scottish child payment. So if Anna Sarwar wants to be taken seriously, he really has to bring some substance to what is a very difficult debate and a very difficult situation for local councils across the country. Question number